What up? Yes, yes, Danny. I'm I am breathing. <laughs> I appreciate the reminders of uh, everyone, <sighs> but especially you know to to just fucking relax and chill and breathe. continue to do the Wim Hof uh, type shite and get that get that good in just get it in so yeah I'm 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 still still tr drinking on my port wine and uh I just kind of want to preface this if I decide to put this out which <laughs> yeah you know, um <sighs> I guess it's because like um training with different types of movements putting different weights uh, in different areas and then also uh, having whatever is going on inside of me like with my spine uh, not aligning properly and not taking the time to make sure everything is in alignment before I continue to engage with uh, certain movements and, and weight training. So yeah, uh, after I did that, like, uh, long uh, session last night, which was just a lot of resistance with a lot of weight, with just a lot of different dynamic movements, a lot of stretching. A lot of yoga postures and a lot of uh, postures that I've never even uh, went into before. But because I'm in this uh, weird misalignment shit, it's kind of like, you know, you sleep on your neck wrong or whatever. And then you wake up the next morning and your neck like, has a kink in it or whatever. Yeah, think of that to the uh, worst possible degree that you could ever experience. And... That is what I've been going through for uh, probably, oh, god damn, just too fucking long now. <sighs> so, I'm trying to be smart about it and, and not engage, even though I really want to, in, in certain modalities, but, uh, the saying keeps coming to mind, uh, curiosity killed the cat. So, so I keep just going towards uh, the side of caution in that. I've never really experienced uh, anything like this to this extreme before. So, uh, something that I haven't been able to put back in myself because I snap, crackle, and pop like fucking Rice Krispie treats. I fucking that's that's what I've done for a long time in my life. Even before I really did yoga, I would always just in, uh, instinctively do that. So to have this kind of uh, extreme misalignment and I can feel like right where it's going to realign but then I have to get in such weird postures and positions. It's, it's, it's fucking nuts. It really is quite bizarre. But I mean, uh, do, do I make the choice of getting frustrated about it or do I make the choice of seeing it from different perspectives realizing that if this is happening within my body then what's happening within my 
exterior uh, perception and uh, life outwards that has allowed this to happen. So I've just been really focusing on posture upon breathing, deep breathing, and uh, it's very hard for me right now because this is to the point extremity where uh, breathing in deeply is very painful. <laughs> and I mean, I know yoga postures that like yogis don't fucking know, so this is this is quite something to experience. It's quite frustrating for someone who uh, is in this period right now where they want to really super focus on engaging, building mass, building muscle, and then you get this extreme debilitation where you can only do so much. But you know, also a part of a part of this is uh, I keep saying "fuck it," like I don't give a fuck, and I'm just gonna go. And so, like I do that, and I and I experience the benefits from doing that uh, within my mass, but also um, I pay for it severely, so I can't I can't keep doing that. In the manner that I've been doing it. So tonight was kind of a, a rest night. I did do some stretches. Um, constantly. I Constantly. Just throughout my day. I always constantly stretch. And do. Uh, all kinds of different postures. And, and motions and movements. Especially whenever I feel like something's out of sorts, I'm constantly going to be doing different movements to see if I can get things back into alignment. But uh, this is this is something else right here. And, and I'm well aware of. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Well, and this is kind of why I'm making this video right here is uh, uh, the appropriateness of when and where and how uh, and, and whom you present certain things to. Because there's really very few people, uh, probably hardly any people, that I can talk to certain things about and, and that they will really get what I'm saying. And not just be triggered by it. And that's uh, very unfortunate. Uh, for them. Uh, but also for myself. To be able to uh, share and relate. And uh, grow myself. Because uh, I can't grow any. If I'm talking to people that just constantly are triggered. And want to debate and argue. And regurgitate. Which which is just constantly like, uh, whatever the fuck the goddamn uh, script is doing right now, like you're doing a damn, you're doing a bang up job because I'm seeing more and more and more people within my experience that I cannot talk to at all, I cannot relate with at all, I cannot present certain things to to them at all without getting just bullshit regurgitation of what they have been taught to say, what they have been taught to think. And they think that this is fact. Because they learned it. They went to school and studied it and they learned it. They learned all that there was to learn about it. It's really hard for me. Uh, it's becoming more and more progressive. Uh, I gotta watch what I say here. To uh, sit idle whenever these things happen with me. Uh, anymore, I will give a direct gaze into the eyes of the people that think they're so sure. And 
It doesn't take long before they make eye contact with me where they realize... Uh, well, first of all, they, they shit their pants. Uh, first and foremost, they shit their fucking pants. Because they don't understand intensity at all. And they think they know what fact and logic is. But then they look in my eyes and they don't know anything. And they are scared to death. So they run away or they start projecting their bullshit at me. Essentially, they look into my eyes and they realize their uh, their humanity and their humility. Essentially, I remind them that, uh, and this is beyond words, because whenever they, whenever you just gaze into someone's eyes, like there's no. Uh, words aren't necessary anymore whenever you are experiencing a felt connection to where you're uh, tapping into your our original language you don't need fucking words so I mean all this etymology shit like that's cute it's very fucking cute um, and at first you know it can really really actually help in uh, understanding understanding and overstanding uh, the linguistics and the, the spells of the spelling Absolutely. I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to uh, my girl, Vanetta Bergman. And I don't know, I'm not pronouncing that last name right. Like Reality Junkie pronounces it right. Because, I mean, she's from Sweden. Stockholm, in fact. With all the syndromes in effect. But, uh... I highly recommend looking into and watching every single video of Vanetta and in one of her videos she she goes into um, these uh, symbols and the etymology and that uh, the trap within that and that is absolutely accurate you can get to a point where these things help guide you towards clarity but then you'll get to a point where you get stuck within that trap and you constantly are thinking upon etymology and what, what these words mean. You gotta, you gotta understand, motherfucker, that the people who design this goddamn shit already thought of this. They, they, they wanted you to go down that path and get stuck and get caught in the spider's web. Go beyond that. Go beyond the fucking words. Go into the stillness and the silence. Engage the all and the alpha and the omega. Engage it. And then you'll realize you don't need to fucking talk about it. And if you do want to talk about it, it will be encouraging people to get to where you are within that. It won't be, oh, this word means this and you know this is the root. Uh, of this word and this is what we're really talking about when we say this that's fucking child's play whenever you get to the point where you are constantly consistently engaging beyond words so it's, it uh, that that part is frustrating what what is also frustrating is people who have engaged within something for themselves and then they think that that is the case uh, for everyone, always, in always. They think that they're, they are above uh, researching things a little bit deeper. They think that they are God, which isn't untrue, but um, there, there is uh, many layers and levels of egotism. So it's just uh, lately it's been really depressing to me to witness and have things thrown at me constantly, consistently of uh, the ignorance that is uh, abound. And then uh, having ignorance 
shown once again and being reflected in in people that I respect and that know better than to say what they are saying. And if we were if we were in a different time and different place, and I'm, I may just have to start doing this, like uh, creating like fight clubs, uh, to where uh, words don't mean shit anymore. Like, if you want to talk your shit and you think you're badass, then then we'll we'll get down to it. And it's not about fighting; it's about <laughs> exactly. It's about dissolving your bullshit structures that you have adapted and adopted. And that you uh, think you know better than other people. And maybe maybe you do for most people. Because most people aren't really even fucking human. What you could liken to a human. Like I said in my last one. Uh, well, well two videos ago most people nowadays are uh, very much bio robots that are just regurgitating their fucking programs they've been taught and they think they are learned because of this oh I'm educated I'm so much better than you So before I go into this guy, if anyone's still listening, this guy's uh, J. Chris. I recommend uh, his channel for show because he's just a fucking cool cat. Uh, he's fucking uh, authentic, and uh, he won't really necessarily shit on people, but he'll he'll call people out and. Uh, call people out in that you know if something doesn't vibrate with him he'll he'll say that that's what I mean what's what I mean by that (sighs) I guess uh, real quick I'll just go ahead and uh, say I watched a video uh, by someone who is talking about inorganic and organic materials and how the body processes these things. And it was very depressing to witness what this person had to say. And that's been my experience as of late, is I've been very depressed with the uh, depravity of, of what people ha- have been accepting as uh, normal or acceptable. So uh, oftentimes, as of late, I've just been cutting people off and, and flat out saying, I cannot talk to you right now because you you are within a mode where you think you know what you are talking about, but you are just regurgitating what you've been taught. You, you, you've been led down a trap where you believe what you've been taught. And you think, you think that that's fact. You think that that is actual... Uh, investigation and uh, understanding uh, really understanding overstanding what it is but no they, they are caught within the trap of understanding so I, I had that talk with with uh, someone tonight where I was like they, they, they wanted to talk to me about nutrition and that uh, humans were uh, meant to eat meat And uh, I looked at him and I'm like, you know I fast, correct? You know I fast? And and, I mean, he's well aware of my fasting uh, protocol. No, it's not a protocol. It's just what I do. Uh, So I'm like, okay. Half the time, I don't fucking eat. And I am arguably... Just as strong or stronger than you. And this guy is... This guy's a big motherfucker. So, I mean, of course, you know... Instead of uh, 
accepting that, engaging that, trying to understand and understand that, um, he deflects. Because this is what people do here. This is what we're getting into with this guy here. Uh, people deflecting, people uh, short circuiting themselves. And not wanting to engage past a certain point. Because that means that they have to think hard. And oh my god, we can't do that. I don't have time to think hard. I have so many other things like uh, in, in my in my schedule, in my system. And I have to constantly think about and engage. And uh, this is something that you know, I also am presented with. I only have so much bandwidth to, to uh, think, uh, engage with whenever I'm in uh, this mode. And I'm like... Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just uh, very fucking depressing. Uh, what's happening right now. Which is just uh, like in ignorance uh, being proliferated and spread. And I mean, I'm at a place where I know that, you know... Uh, this too shall pass, but just right now, it's it's very fucking uh, prominent and potent, and uh, it's taking like a lot of willpower for me to not. I don't want to get too fucking uh, crazy or anything, but uh, in previous lifetimes and in uh, cycles like. Uh, None of this is tolerated, so I mean, this is uh, hard for someone like me to be in this time period and accept this level of ignorance and this level of depravity, this level of people thinking that they uh, are, are mm, real humans or, or and not even that because of, because i'm a man i have testosterone uh having men come at me like they are real men like that's it's very hard for me not to uh show them up front uh what a real man is and, and i'm not i don't want to i'm not coming from a place where you know oh i'm better than everyone but If you're gonna come at me with hostility, you better, you better be ready. You better be coming at me with life or death, because it's not. A, uh, I gotta watch what I say. I come from realms where uh, <laughs> I eat this level of ignorance, like on the daily. It's uh, food for me, so. Uh, it's very hard for me to live in this time period and not uh, there's so many people there's there's so many uh people that think they're actually people. So yeah, the reminder here and what we're going to get into is just that uh, uh, realize who you're talking to whenever you talk to people. Realize uh, the level that they're at. Um, realize that you don't necessarily need to tell people uh, the truth because more, more likely than not, they're going to not just not understand it, but project back onto you with their ignorance and their bullshit and make you seem like the crazy okay yeah so my phone died there uh yeah just just be be cognizant of other people's awarenesses um I, I, the conversation I was just having with someone is that uh, since I already know the level of awareness of a certain individual, like I, I know better than to waste my time there um, and talking about certain things. And if I, if I choose to engage 
uh, with this person. It's going to be in, in a sense of uh, humor and uh, satire, but but in a sense that, like, hopefully they. Not only think that what I say is funny, like, I don't care if anyone thinks that what I say is funny, but I say it in, in a way that potentially they they will reflect it back on it or in the moment and be like, hmm, maybe, the, maybe there's a little something there that I can, I can think upon and, and dwell within. So yeah, before we play this, uh, this is about censorship, and uh, I, I just wanted to say that um, I've been noticing this on a lot of different channels. Uh, this guy, J. Chris, this guy's channel, uh, Zen Atman, he's been going through the same thing that I've been going through with my lives recently, uh, my live streams, like uh, no one will fucking show up, and that's never happened before, not that... You know, I, I'm expecting people to show up, but just like they have before. So, and that's before I even had like half the fucking people that I do now uh, so, so subscribe to me. But also, like, uh, I wanted to say uh, the subscriber count, which is what uh, this guy talks about, like his subscriber count, which just goes up and down and up and down and uh, steadily, you know, up and down to the level where it's just like, kind of steadily going down. Uh, mine has done weird shit lately as well. I don't really understand this. I don't really have that many subscribers anyway, so I don't understand uh, why that why that's happening or, or even why uh, they would choose to do that with, with someone who doesn't have very many subscribers, but, uh, then again, like, evidently their algorithms are working, and they know who, uh, who to look for, because they're definitely, uh, catching the people who are either subscribed to the people, who are, are putting out like actual truth, like bigger bigger subscription channels, or their algorithms are picking up on the smaller channels, which I kind of feel like it's probably more towards the latter there, or no, not the latter. That the, that is the people subscribe to uh, uh, the. Uh, the conspiracy channels. So yeah, like I've been going through some stupid bullshit lately. Like uh, things put in my spam section uh, that have no reason to be put in there. Uh, constantly uh, notifications that show up that like I have so many notifications but then only like a portion of them actually show up when I click on them. <sighs> That's a whole bunch of fucking stupid shit. So yeah, let's go ahead and play some of this. Now I'm gonna share something that's very sensitive. Okay now you do know that I'm insane, right? Uh, so I do have several counselors and psychiatrists, right? Okay, so now, let me tell you what happened. This is very serious, and I am very serious. Jason, I'm going to say this, and then I'll shut up, okay? Okay. Because this is very serious. Okay. I have two counselors, mm -hmm. government counselors. Mm -hmm. One counselor told me, Raleigh, I know you've mentioned this Mandela effect stuff. Do you want me to lock you up and put you in a straitjacket? Okay, then I have another what? counselor, though. Yeah, yeah. Then I have another counselor. And that's just the perfect representation of, uh... The 
Orwellian uh, society that we are in right now. The people that actually have a say in uh, locking people up, not just in insane asylums, but also just uh, in general in jail and prison. Uh, the judges, the fucking prosecuting attorneys, and hopefully this gets uh, triggered and censored here since I uh, said uh, some key words. Because fuck you and your system and your bullshit fucking system. But it operates on prejudice and opinion and bias of these people that are put in place in places of so-called power to put people uh, in prison or incarcerate or subject them to subject them to certain things. It's very psychotic. It's uh, it's like the people that should be in the insane asylums are uh, the people running the show with our uh, bullshit system. And if you haven't noticed that yet, that's just because you've been playing ball and you've been playing it safe and not questioning things for yourself. So, because of that, you don't see what's really going on. You think everything's just peachy and peaches and cream. You think that, you know, the government is there to help you. And that's most, most fucking people. And, and that should be very alarming for the people that uh, are waking up and realizing uh, the situation that they're in right now. So yeah, uh, before I play any more of this, I want to say real quick that uh, I I ha had a friend that uh, got put into in in uh, one of these institutions, an insane asylum type things, and uh, it was because it was too much too quick for him. Uh, he blasted open his perceptions and, and really got into uh, things like extrasensory uh, perceptions, uh, what he thought was aliens, and he uh, went into the... Well, he experienced phenomenon that he attached to aliens, so he thought like because of that, all aliens are good. And there's a whole bunch of new age shit that will uh, reinforce this kind of mentality that, you know, the uh, Galactic Federation or whatever the fuck nowadays, you know, is the thing. Uh, they're, they're coming. They're coming to put people, uh, you know, uh, in prison and, and you know, uh, bring justice. But how long has this been uh, being said now? among the, those kinds of channels uh, quite a long time without anything happening so if you're still following those modalities and mentalities uh, what the fuck look around you oh oh we're close oh it's just around the corner and that's and that's the case every time with these things Oh, it's just around the corner. It's going to happen. And then, oh, no, it couldn't happen this time. But, you know, this is why. And, oh, it's going to happen. How many years have, have people been following this shit? The script. The New Age script. The Alien script. Huh. <clears throat> So yeah, um, but also like uh, this person woke. This person was very into music as well. So like they were a savant in music. Um, 
So whenever they tried to talk to people, uh, they came off as they came off as very manic because they were so engaged with uh, inspiration and passion. But also that they uh, put that in towards like uh, things like you know, the aliens and whatnot, where you know that obviously they're gonna sound like crazy people. So uh, that's what happened, and so they were uh, put into places where crazy people are put into and uh this person at the time called out to me uh they were gonna have a court date in a town like a couple hours away so i went there uh i basically let it be known that i, I would accept this person under my uh care or whatever <clears throat> for the time being just so that they could uh, not be reintroduced to an insane asylum or a mental health institution, basically. So I'll go ahead and talk about that real quick. Uh, I went there and, and essentially I... Uh, I'm never comfortable in those kinds of uh, buildings and those type of uh, mentalities, and that's why it's because the mentality within the buildings uh, is very uncomfortable. It's very uh, unfortunate and uh, depressing. Very depressing. The judge uh, in this case was a female. Uh, she still had uh, a little bit of her um, empathic abilities about her. This was uh, many years ago too, so I wasn't anywhere near where I am right now. I went ahead and spoke my truth regardless of what was going to happen. And I just went ahead and said uh, in front of every, everyone that uh, the words of this person uh, that was uh, being... Uh, incarcerated in, in this kind of facility uh, the words of this person doesn't mean as much to me as uh, what I feel from this person and I said I am always in contact with the heart of this person so I I know where this person is coming from and I said that this person actually uh, goes out of their way to help people right that's what they do they, they help people in whatever the way they can so, the prosecuting attorney said to me, whenever I was uh, on the stand or whatever, whatever the fuck, uh, his words were, well, I do care about the words, and I, I want to know what this person said. So I said, yes, uh, they, may have, they may have said this and that about the government or aliens or about this and that, but, you know, Throughout life, we all say things and, and, and this and that, and that doesn't necessarily mean that just because someone says something crazy that we need to immediately jump the gun and say that they're a fucking crazy person. They need to be in a straitjacket. What should be done is a, a felt connection of uh, where the person's intent is, and so this is what I expressed. I am always in contact with the person's heart, their intent. So I don't give a fuck about the words. And so, uh, for whatever reason, the judge at the time uh, did not side with the prosecuting attorney. They sided with uh, the words that I was expressing. Probably not even the words, just the uh, emote. How I, was, how I was emoting the emotion. How uh, my, my authenticity with with uh, and my truth within those words so uh yeah a long story short uh that person was released into my custody i guess or whatever the fuck uh terminology there uh legalese words uh they were they were uh released from the insane asylum because I said I would, uh, they would be living with me, I guess, at the time. 
But also, as I was walking away, the judge kept thanking me. Like, thank you uh, for your time. Thank you for coming. Thank you uh, multiple times. So that was a uh, very interesting to experience a witness. And I also just want to say, uh, this person, uh, was, was such a, um, a benefit, and if, and if he's listening to anything that I say here, like, I just want him to know, like, uh, the appreciation I have for you, and the benefit that I gained, uh, from my interactions with you. Um... Just, just in a sense of being more connected with myself, uh, constantly engaging with the authenticity within myself, and having that reflected back onto me. So that was awesome. Okay, let's go. Got it? And I said, okay, now, here's Mandela effect. And she said, I see it. And I said, now I want you to promise me that you're going to keep me from being locked up. And she said, Raleigh, I see the Mandela effect. And I will defend you to keep you from being locked up. If you mention Mandela effect, the wrong person. Well, I mean, I will back. It's such a. And this guy cut him off here, but basically, I don't know what I feel is what he was going to say is she said, if you mention it to the wrong person, I will back them up, depending upon the person. You know, if they're my, if they are my superiors, then I will go along with that. And I also wanted to mention, uh, real quick. Whenever, whenever, uh, within like the past year or so, whenever I mention certain things to certain people, say like the Mandela effect, say like, uh, just, just certain things, uh, oddities in reality, <laughs> I get, uh, sometimes I get uh, a response where people, like, like what this guy says, like they seem to short circuit, they, they go blank. It's it's almost like uh, you're working you're oper you're working with a person or or a fucking computer and you uh, it, it's very much like uh, whenever you're within a dream a lucid dream and you start to talk to your people uh, within the, within your dream and you you start to say things like uh, well just just any deeper kind of level stuff but especially whenever you start to say hey, you, you guys realize that you're within my dream, right? And they will just go blank. They won't, they won't say shit. This is what um, I have been experiencing for a while uh, in, in mentioning certain things with people. They just go blank. And it's like, it's not even like they have anything, any kind of rebuttal. They just go blank. And it's almost like, uh, hello, <laughs> are, are you are you alive? Uh, it's it's a very bizarre thing to witness. I don't know if, if any of you guys have witnessed this for yourselves, but it's very strange, especially whenever you're, it's it's with people that you've had interactions with before, and they don't they've never done this before. But then you mention a certain kind of thing. On a certain level, and they just go blank, and it's not that they will they will just uh, neglect or deflect or walk away. They just like it's almost like a uh, a blankness goes over their face, and they're just there's nothing there for uh, for a while. I don't know uh, what to make of it really, because it's like wow, like this whole fucking I'm in a uh, computer simulation thing. Just uh, <laughs> to have a lot more validity whenever you keep experiencing things like this. It's it's very fucking weird. Okay. 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 Okay.
I know, but you know, and I hear you, and I hear it's a true story. Here's what I don't. Here's where I feel like that that this is maybe what I would say to counselor counselor A. Basically, I, I I would say after that, you know, do you want me to lock you up or whatever? Say, yeah. well, I mean, wh- why is why is quantum mechanics? You know, it's like that that needs to come up in these conversations that we have with people because. Yeah, I know what he's saying there. I mean, that's absolutely valid. Like, if if you're gonna if you're gonna cut yourself off there with a certain level of logic, like, what about all these other things within uh, your so-called sciences that have been you know studied, like quantum mechanics and how that operates? But I mean, you also got to realize that you know you're you're talking to people or a person that. Uh, doesn't think like that. They they haven't uh, investigated for themselves on that kind of level. So whenever you uh, present things to them like this, it's not. It doesn't have any effect because they're already so indoctrinated and so encapsulated. Um, they're dug in like ticks into the bullshit scripts. So that for them to be able to pull their heads out, it's a very painful process. It's like, okay, can 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 you're made up of particles, and a particle can exist one, not a clone of it. It can exist in two places at once. Okay, that's you know, look at CERN. Look at how well funded that program is. It's all based on quantum mechanics. So here, it's like. And, the, and then the guy is going to go into saying, like, you know, most people don't even know about CERN and whatnot. So, <clears throat> essentially, like, this just comes back down to where I said it, like, near the beginning is whenever you know someone is at a certain level, like, don't waste your fucking breath. Um, I mean, if you want to, go for it. If you feel like you can do so, uh, do do it in a, in a way that um, has humor to it or in a way that kind of seems like you're just joking or playing devil's advocate. But maybe, potentially, they'll kind of like uh, question. I do this. Like this. I do that to kind of those kind of people. If I don't just um, say fuck it to begin with, I will just kind of play with uh, certain levels of humor, or certain levels of, uh, oh god, of course it's ridiculous, but, uh, what about this, what about this, uh, just to get them to think, for themselves, actually. <sighs> yeah, I mean, It's just, it's, it's, it's been a very depressing reality to be in as of late because of the constant uh, level of arrogance and ignorance and just not paying attention to what's in front of your fucking face. It's all right there in front of you. If you can think for yourself, maybe you can take the steps towards figuring it out for yourself. (sighs) So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put this up. We'll see. But, uh... Yeah. Just a fucking... reminder to engage... in certain ways to engage... Everyone's gonna. Everyone has a different level of awareness in where they're at on their path. So you just gotta realize uh, that, and kind of, if you want to, you know, try to enlighten. Uh, I don't like to use that word, but just not, not even educate people. It's um, kind of wake people up to the reality of the situation. You have to realize where they're at, where that individual is at right then and there, whether they're capable of integrating for themselves, or if their cup is already f- filled with bullshit, 
which is uh, something I have been telling people is uh, th they come at me with okay well enlighten me and I just and I say you have to empty your cup first I can't and I can't uh, give you like uh, pearls with Whenever your cup is already overflowing with bullshit. And I will flat out say this. Your cup is overflowing with bullshit. Empty your cup. And they will try to rebut. Uh, have a rebuttal. But then like that will sink in. And they just. They won't have anything to say. And. Uh, unfortunately because of their lifestyle. They, they don't ever really. Contemplate. Uh, things. Um, deeply. Because they're always on to the next thing and the next thing and uh, the the new thing and the new thing and the thing that excites them and then on to the next. But they're not able to uh, introspect and, and uh, dive into their inner realms because they're always bouncing on that surface level. So yeah. We'll end it here. Uh, dive deep. Uh, <laughs> dive, dive into your deep waters. But just realize that whenever you still yourself, whenever you spend time just with you and the all that is, that's when you're, you're able to really access some of this really deep inner work. And understand the deep levels. You're able to really. Do some. Uh, personal work. For yourself. And come to realize. Some. Uh, some aspects of uh, what things mean uh, on many levels uh, you move from the exoteric exoteric to the esoteric and you understand your reality feel it heal it deal it with it deal with the fucking shit that you're gonna that's gonna come up Whenever you feel it. Because that's how you heal it. Engage baby. Energy management. Feel the real. Get to it. Get to work. Peace.